Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Verde Beach, and today we have a lot of work to do. Verde Beach is on the verge of dying, and I've been hinting at this for a while now, that there are some really significant problems, and you can see that now they're starting to rear their ugly head. So we have multiple issues to deal with. We have lots of routing issues, uh, we have a death wave going on, we have garbage capacity issues, and we have commercial goods too far, and that's leading to building abandonment. We're gonna solve all those issues and one other issue, which is a problem that is coming up and we're trying to terraform. Let's say I wanted to extend this back and look what it does. I just, it drops my frame rate. There are a number of things happening here. First of all, we, we are using one significant mod. We're using 81 tile mod and that exposes the game for one of its bigger shortcomings. That shortcoming being that the simulation is actually not great all the time in the game. When you use nine tiles like you do in a vanilla game, it really covers up some of those shortcomings. But when you expand and develop every corner of the map like we have here, some of those routing issues can really cause some significant problems and kill your city. I picked up a mod to help deal with this. Well, a couple. So you might have just seen one. This is right here. I, I We're gonna be zooming out a lot today and I wanted to get toggle it so I could toggle these things off. So I've renamed these. District names is D, zoning is Z, and C is contour lines. That's all I really need. So we're adding a couple other mods to the build. Transfer Manager CE. So there are two different uh, mods that, are, that were released recently to deal with transfers. This is because the previous version of Transfer Manager was unfortunately corrupted by the creator. They, they put in some malicious code and then deleted it, which really screwed up a lot of people's games. There are two that you can use right now, either this one or Transfer Controller. And I've investigated both of them. And for a new build, I would say, you might wanna go for Transfer Controller if you're just starting out because you can micromanage each and every one of the services you put in place and confine it to a neighborhood. In an older city, you're probably gonna to wanna to go through and use Transfer Manager because it's a little bit more broad in, in, in terms of its uh, options. So when you look at this, first of all, it's gonna give you some general options. You can't define things to districts and for our purposes, that's fine. We just wanna prefer local district services so that if we have either a garbage, police, healthcare, maintenance, mail, taxi, and healthcare means death care as well, they're gonna prioritize the calls that are closest to them first. The other thing that we're gonna to wanna to look at is our goods delivery. So you got a couple of options. You can either have all of your goods that are either inbound or outbound, so either importing or exporting, go to a warehouse first. If you have a lot of warehouses set up and you have them set to general commercial goods, this probably makes a lot of sense for you because you can centralize that traffic, leave it right next to a highway and disperse it from there or next to your train cargo station. We don't have that set up all that well right now. We might work towards that, but for the time being, we're gonna leave this off. And then we have reserve warehouse cargo trucks for local traffic. That takes 25% of the warehouse truck capacity and allocates it towards meeting your local demands. So we absolutely want that. We have enough warehouses for that. And then this right here will have the warehouses actually buy from local or, or sell to local businesses before, before importing or exporting respectively. This, you really have to have a nice warehouse system set up. We're not there. And then we also have export import options. This would prioritize modes of transportation that are not trucks. Rather than having everything come on the highway, you'd be able to use a ship or a plane or a train. Our network's not strong enough for that, so we're not gonna do that. And the, so then they also, last night actually, added the call again option. So what this does is every time a, a building asks for a service, so they, they ask for an ambulance or they ask for a hearse, they will send out a request and there's an allocated amount of time before they request it again. Default is 60 seconds. We're gonna drop this down because I really want this to be effective. The last thing I want is to see death care facilities that have two hearses out and there's a thousand dead bodies. <laughs> so we're gonna keep that call happening that you need a higher end machine for that, obviously, and we're good here. And then the other thing that we're gonna take a look at is broken nodes. 
because I know that we have someone that is causing some of our issues, particularly with the terraforming, and we'll get into that first. I showed you the terraforming issue, and I brought in broken node detector, so control zero, and you can bring up this mod. Uh, this is something that, you know, if I didn't have this mod, I might think that the game is just completely broken beyond repair. I thought it was, and then I, I found this. And here's what you can see. I searched for broken nodes, and now I click this button, move to broken node, and it shows me the issue. So interestingly, for whatever reason, one by one, all of these paths are gonna break. And that might be because of 81 tiles, I'm not 100% sure, but when I upgrade it to the nature reserve path, I don't have these problems. So I'm gonna go through, and we're gonna upgrade all of these paths to either be nature reserve paths, or like right in the park, our, our, our campus paths, and then we'll see if we can terraform again. Okay, so I've got all of these paths upgraded, and we're gonna run the broken node detector one more time, and then we're gonna run through these other settings as well, just to make sure we don't have any other issues. All right, nothing found there. Let's look for some ghost nodes. Found and released one. Short segments, we shouldn't have any short segments. None there. Disconnected uh, public transit stops. We have one, interesting. It's a ferry line and there's no stop. So yeah, we'll get rid of that. And then disconnected buildings again, we shouldn't have any problems here. Okay, so we should be good. Moment of truth, let's see if we can terraform. I'll try to improve this. Back, good as new, good as new. So if you run into that problem, that's probably the solution that you need to find. Now, we're just gonna keep going down the list and we've got a major death, death wave going on right now. Look at this, this is wild. We have 1,400 deaths. So this occurs because you don't have enough capacity for crematoriums. And you might look at this and go, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Look at this, we're in the green. Well, that is for the capacity for storage. And this is something that I think is a little misleading. So I haven't been building enough death care. And I think that it would be good to take a look. We're gonna solve this with death care, child health centers, and senior care, or elder care. So we can see that our, our average child health is okay. Well, actually better than okay, it's great. And elder care is, is okay. But what child health care, at least what I've read that it does is it actually increases the birth rate and that can help us so that not all of these citizens are dying at the same time. In, in game years, citizens live about six, then they die at the same time. So if they come into the city or are born at the same time, they all die at the same time. So if you build a big neighborhood like we did here, Everyone's gonna die at the same time, unless, of course, you vary your lifespans by having childcare and elder care. So we're gonna do that. I wanna think about this, this crematorium capacity a bit. So 1,536 dead people right now. And those dead people are getting other people sick. Uh, it's making the city less desirable. People will abandon their homes. And you, you think you got capacity, but you don't. Because this building, actually has seven hearses at a time. And if we went into here, uh, we have a, a cryo, pro, a cryo preservatory. This has 10 hearses capacity. Really, you've got to take this and divide it by the number of hearses. And if you wanted to solve all this at once, you could be one of those, those people that just makes a big hearse campus. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, you can certainly do that. I'm not going to go that route. What we are going to do is I want to have about a third of this, maybe even just a quarter of it. So if we go ahead and we say well, 1,600 divided by seven, to, to resolve this right now, we would need 228 crematoriums. <laughs> We're obviously not going to do that. In fact, let's just hit 10% of that. So that'll be, you know, 20 maybe. And maybe we'll add, now that we're so many years into the future, we'll add more cryopreservatories rather than crematoriums. So I wanna look back at all the neighborhoods that I've not well served. This is low density, probably should have at least two of these uh, death care, and maybe even more than that. We'll begin with one and uh, one more, and we'll see if, if we need to add more as time goes on. So I'm gonna add that right here. And then there are places like this, which is the pyrotechnic, has absolutely no death care. Didn't build it. And I'm gonna go through all of the neighborhoods I've built recently. This, I'm placing it on this side road, so it's not on the main road. Look at that, all that abandonment. And I think these are all historic. Yeah, 
So they're gonna stay abandoned. <laughs> so, so that's two. We honestly could probably use one on campus, which is unfortunate. That's not a great looking building in my opinion, but we'll add one over here as well. Let's pop through here and see what else we have. We have one back there, one right here. Probably good enough to serve those areas. And then when you look at this neighborhood right here, so this is Mill Hill and Covenant Hills. We're really serving this gigantic geographic area with two, and this one's shared. So we are going to add in one more, and I'll try to add it in a place where maybe it's a little less disruptive. Put that on that side street here. I don't know if this is gonna have utilities, it's not. So we'll need to bring utilities down to it. Now over here, we've got Myrtle Park and this whole industrial complex has, I'm wondering if there are bodies in here. Oh, there are on the side. So there is no coverage over here as well. We are gonna to need to resolve that. And there are bodies here. So we're getting calls from other places to resolve this. So a little eminent domain, there we go. And then through here, Lewis, Lewis Shores, Lewis Gardens. We uh, also, again, not enough. The one that I got fairly well at was probably here in, in Sterling Estates and Oceanside, although even here, you can see that there is a significant chunk of land that uh, doesn't have death care. So we'll add that, let's try to get that. This has access to that arterial, but that's probably not, or that collector, but it's probably not as important as having access down here. So this is the type of use that I think we could have in a neighborhood. So we'll just certainly add that right there. Everyone loves that. It's gonna drive up our property value, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna increase the speed right now so that some of these death care options start working. And now in the downtown area, because the density is higher, we need a higher density of services. And if I'm looking, in some cases it looks like I've done that, but in others, it's just as bad as everywhere else. So we are going to increase the density of services out here as well. You can see, oh my goodness, so many bodies, so many bodies. And I hate taking out towers, but this one's gonna go away anyway. So I'll just place it there. And now we at least have adequate coverage here. Our government center, interestingly, we have some abandoned buildings. So I will not feel bad about taking those out in favor of one of these. Uh, in the club district, that's our original cryopreservatory. And then even our new neighborhood over here isn't looking good. I think I'm gonna place that up here because we have some empty space right here, but we're gonna use that in the build in just a little while. And then our neighborhood over here too, it's a, this is a business park there. We don't have coverage. I think we're just gonna add that here and they'll be able to loop back around. We already have a crematorium there, but we need more coverage. And then here at the airport, we have none, no coverage at all. Oh, and lots of abandonment. And it looks like when I took away the harbor here, I totally forgot to rebuild the road network. So let's, let's do that as well. So we'll fix that. We will add our death care. And I, I kind of want to sneak this in the back. Just add this back here. It's not going to be excellent, but they'll be able to leave through here and that'll, that'll help. And then let's fix our zoning. And now we can uh, modify our terrain so we can fix this. Okay, so we obviously have a lot of abandonment here as well. Not enough goods. We've got a lot of work to do there. Uh, I think that for a little while, we're starting to see our number come down. We're going to look at our child care and our elder care. And after that, we're just going to let this sit for a little while. It's going to need some time. So why don't we look at our health care first, actually, because if there are places that don't have adequate health care. Ooh, look at this. This is Myrtle Park and we have no health care over here. That is a problem. That is a huge problem. So we'll at least open up a small medical clinic over here. And we can put that right next to the crematorium. <laughs> Perfect. We can't solve you here, we can solve you here. <laughs> and over here, we could probably use some healthcare. I think we're gonna do some converting of, of uses over here. So I'm gonna put that again next to our crematory, our, our, our cryopreservatory. Then over here, 
We've got a lot of healthcare. It's just not coming down to the shore as, as being perfect, but that's that's okay. I, I'm wondering, did I check death care over here? Ooh, this is a this is another hole in our death care. So we will add in one more of these. And this feels like it should be on the engineering campus. That's perfect. And why don't we add a clinic over here as well while we're over here? And I know that these investments are expensive. We're spending a lot of money, but it's even more expensive to have abandonment. So I'm not going to be overly concerned about the cost until, of course, I run out of money. <laughs> and then I will be concerned. But look at our population just plummeting. Thankfully, it looks as though things are starting to improve for us. Now we need to think more about our, our healthcare globally. We've added that one here. And I just want to see if there are any significant holes. And I actually didn't look at death care in these areas as well. So we'll look at both. It's not perfect, but it's, it's, it's a space center. Up here, nothing. So if anyone dies up here, which thankfully it doesn't look like there's anyone dead up here, they would be coming from across the map. For healthcare, same story. So there are dorms up here. So that means that people live here. So we are going to fix that. And then over here, this is a very challenging area for us. So we have one health center at the top, death care, top and bottom. So we're gonna need to add one more. I just, I'm curious about one thing now. So I wanna find one of these where we are, are seeing a hearse be deployed and I wanna see where it's, where they're coming from. Let me find, is there a hearse coming back here? Wait, here's one, here's a coroner's, a co coroner's van. So this, the owner is way over here. That is exactly what we want to avoid. And that happens when your services are spread out and when you don't have the mod on that I just turned on. That mod is gonna take a little while to take effect. So that is gonna be a, a thing, but you can see our number of deceased is pretty dramatically falling, which it should. We added like 15 of these cryopreservatories, or maybe it was leaving a little bit more. I uh, didn't count, lost track. <laughs> now the other half of the equation. We need to look at our childcare uh, because this will increase our birth rate and our elder care, which will increase the length of people's lives. So I'm gonna increase the birth rate if I can sneak something like this up here. And look at that, we've got problems with our trash collection as well. So add that up here. And these were all commercial uses, so I'm totally fine coming through and just knocking these out in favor of an elder care facility. Okay, so that will help us there. Unfortunately, it probably would have been better to centrally locate that. And I'm curious as to how that's even gonna work. We'll look at that elder care users in the city and hopefully that improves. So some of our other neighborhoods. You can see we have an elder care facility over here. We should probably have one more centrally located in this neighborhood as well. And let's turn on our terrain, so our contours, while we're placing this. This is absolutely lovely view for us. So we can see that this is probably one of the more suitable places. It's on a collector, but it's not gonna generate lots of traffic. So I'm gonna be okay with that. It'll provide great coverage through here. In this neighborhood, we're gonna need to most likely take out a whole bunch of homes up here. We didn't decorate this a ton, so I think that's a, a more suitable location than down here. Uh, we've got elder care here. This is the university. I don't know why uh, an elderly person would wanna live at the university. I guess maybe a, a staff person. <laughs> Or maybe you're just young at heart. I don't know. <laughs> so, the terrain makes this difficult. This is this building is a great gap filler, but when you don't have gaps, it's not a great building. <laughs> so uh, we'll look at Old Verde Beach, all these historic homes, and we'll take out a number of them right on the coast. Beautiful views for the elderly. And we're gonna have the exact same problem with childcare, although that fits really nicely right behind that path and that'd be great if you could drop let's say you had a big gap in between your kids ages drop one kid off at high school drop the other one right there perfect over here no child health care at all and i think we've got to give this over here so we'll take out some residential and i, I want to focus on this area for just a moment so we've got so many things happening here 
that are disruptive to the health of the citizenry, I think that we need to give them some options. So we are going to add in everyone's favorite. This is a European area after all, so why not add a sauna? And let's look at our other options as well. We could have in, could add in one of these yoga studios. So we should actually, if we can place this near one of these oil pumps, it's probably the best place we could put it. So I'll place that right there and get rid of this zoning. It'll give some separation. And then we'll even change the zoning of this to be commercial. So a little neighborhood commercial center right there. And truthfully, I, I'm good, I've gone back and forth on whether or not we should be doing that generally around the oil pumps. And I think where I'm landing is, I probably should have done that right off the bat. So this is just responding to a game mechanic because I know that in reality this happens, that's not gonna be a gigantic polluter in terms of making everyone who lives in close proximity sick. Uh, it is not a great use to live next to. It's ugly. Uh, it is industrial in nature, but people do it. So there we go. Just kind of spot in a few uh, commercial uses in close proximity that should improve the health in this area. So our healthcare is looking okay. Our childcare will look, we don't really need it here. We do need it over here. So this is right downtown and you can see that there are some sick kid kiddos in this area. So let's go ahead and grab a child health center. We're gonna take out a bunch of bunch of towers to do it, <laughs> which I, I, I dislike doing again. But we do have some abandonment. So if there's any place that we could do it, it's in an abandoned area. We have the same problem with our elder care. So again, we're gonna find an abandoned building and take that out. And then here we've had an interesting situation occur. There's a whole bunch of commercial right along this road right here and it's never developed because there was never any demand for it because there were never enough goods. So we are going to add in, wow, look at all of these dead bodies. It's just, just can't stand it. We'll take out that and add that in here. And we're gonna look for something very similar right here. And just seeing the amount of death care, this is kind of a hole again in our death care coverage. We'll add in our preservatory right next to the elder care. Oh boy, we're down to 900. So we've, we've cut this thing almost in half. So on to our next issue, which is trash. So this could be causing our death wave as well. And I think I've isolated the issue right here. Our waste processing complex is at capacity. And we have these other facilities also at capacity for the reserves and this is going to lead to garbage piling up. So let's take a look and see where we're at there. And you see it, it's piling up in our downtown area. They're doing their best to keep up, but where do you even process this stuff? So part of the problem is in the downtown area, the older part of downtown, we don't have any transfer facilities and then we don't have any place to process it once we do that. We're gonna need to take out some buildings. So we're gonna use a whole bunch of eminent domain and sneak in a transfer facility back here. I really dislike this. You know, in cities you have to have services. So uh, you, you end up in, in some uncomfortable situations sometimes because of that. I, after looking at this for a while, I think that this is the, the very best place to put it. So it was a hole in the system. So this should serve the entire downtown area, the university, you'd be able to cross over here and get down here quickly. There's no other lo good location for it. So it's it's as good as it gets. We also need one over here, but we, we've got a few things to do over here. And I think we're gonna quickly transition after we get one more of these in here, we're gonna tr start talking about our next issue. Now this is gonna be a tough spot. We've got some terrain concerns here. We should try to clean this up as best we can. This is also a one way, so that's another concern, but I think we're gonna go with it. And we'll back that in like that so that hopefully from a terrain standpoint, it's a little manageable, a little more manageable. We can fix that with a bit of landscaping though. So at that, this point, I'm just trying to screen that so that, you know, if you come over here, you're gonna see it when you're at healthy weeds, but <laughs> it won't be so bad. So that is helpful. The big problem we have here is, is transportation though. 
there's a lot of barriers in this area to getting around. Right here is a significant barrier. It basically severs this neighborhood from this one. And the only way to get over here is this collector. And there are one ways preventing you to act from accessing that. So this is a collector couplet. So really, you hop on this collector couplet to get over here, and then you have a one way. So we are going to make a significant investment that is going to be highly controversial. And I'm very curious to see how you're going to feel about it. We are going to extend our highway into the city. So we're going to go back on what we have done historically. And we are going to make a variety of connections across this rail corridor. I think this is absolutely necessary to solve both our garbage, our abandonment, and our not enough goods to sell issues, along with another solution that we're going to we're going to have. So we're going to get to that. But first, we're going to add in a couple of our waste processing complexes. I've looked around a lot for this as well, and I think that this is likely the best location. We should take a look and see where we have these. So we have one right here, we have one right here, and we have one right here. And they are basically all on their last legs. So we take a look at this one. That one's almost full. We have one over here. That one is not, but there's no good access. So this is basically serving this entire area and, and nothing else. Really, all of this area is funneling to this one center over here. So if we add this right here, I think that this solves a lot of our problems and it can access both via the highway, the downtown area, and serve some of the older parts of the community as well. So we're gonna just extend this out. We have a waste processing complex right here already, or waste transfer facility so we'll just extend this out this is a huge building so we'll need to really put in some work and you might be thinking boy he's making a lot of decisions really quickly i assure you that i have not <laughs> so i put in an obscene amount of time trying to think of the best ways to save the city testing different things out and really deep diving into all of this and sometimes you just you have to do that and that's where I was at. The city is just in a really challenging spot right now. So the other thing about this is it would be really nice to have a parallel connection. And at some point, we are likely going to need to come up here and have a major project to add into the highway here. But that's not a today thing. What is a today thing is coming over here and beefing this up. We don't really have any trash collection over here either. You can see nothing. We're going to hide that up here and we're going to have some other city services up here as well. So this is an unforested part of our forest. So we're going to add that over here and we're going to add a waste processing complex and a transfer facility. And then I want to add some of our helicopter depots back here as well. And then we're going to forest around here. That is that will be uh, something that is one of the, the deals with with coming over here with all of these new facilities. Medical, we've been talking about uh, the medical concerns that we have. So we can certainly come through here and add in a medical helicopter, if I could find it. <laughs> Actually, that's probably not even as, as big a concern as a fire helicopter. There we go. There's our medical helicopter. So all of these facilities are an excellent amenity to this side of the community, but I don't want to just drop them in here and call it a day. Uh, we are going to need to upgrade the roads through here, so I don't love that because I, I kind of I like the look of the dirt road coming back here, but we'll live with it. And then we're going to heavily landscape around this. And after this, I think that we're going to just let the garbage processing lie as well. Similar to the death care, we're just going to have to be patient and see what happens over time. So let's just add some landscaping back here to hide this from the road and make it look a little bit better. I will continue to work on losing a finger by clicking so many times. Okay, so clearly got some work to do back here still, but yeah, I think it's in a pretty good place and we'll get our water back there so that building stops being furious. So now we've got this new complex back here with some city service buildings. It stinks that they're hidden up there, but you know, you, you gotta have these somewhere. And uh, in city owned or state owned land, I think it would be probably as, as good as any place. Uh, to place these city-owned uses. So there we go with those. And now look at we're making some money. 
We're getting some population back. Let's see where we're at with our death care. Down to 262. Wow, that <laughs> feels good. Feels like we're making some progress. We have talked about our garbage capacity issues. We've talked about our death, uh, death wave. And now we need to focus on our commercial goods. And I think that the commercial goods issue kind of goes along with everything. So not only is transfer manager helping, I mean, that's certainly a big part of this because we're being more effective with this. And oh, it's so nice to pop through here and not see death care chirps. We do have a garbage chirp, but we're gonna, we're gonna resolve that. We're gonna resolve that. We don't want this whole place to burn down. And we've got that new facility to help with that. I'm guessing though, if we come over here, we've still got all of these chirps. So there are a couple of things that we're, we should think about. Maybe before we go road building crazy to try to improve the accessibility, we can att attempt to resolve this using a bit of logic. One thing that we could do is come through here and add in some warehouses with just some normal commercial goods. If we come through here, so we've got these small warehouse yards. This has 10 trucks, 100,000 capacity, very little noise, no pollution. This, that's a, it's a, a pretty significant jump in noise. We're looking at like a 40% a jump in noise for an extra 10 trucks and the capacity is two and a half times more. So maybe it's worth it that we do this. And then we could go even bigger. We get double, double the noise pollution but four times as many vehicles and four times as many storage, four times as much storage capacity. That said, the problem here is that if we were to add this, we need to eliminate that road. Uh, that might be worth it to me though, just to add this back here. So I think we are gonna do this. We'll eliminate this road here. And this is a fairly flat location. Just add this here and then we're gonna have some land uses become modified. So we'll have a rezoning take place here. And we'll put commercial uses here that can likely tolerate this a bit more. And then to deal with the lumpies and bumpies here, we will have a self-leveling path. We'll align that to the grid. Just perfect. Look at that. Now we do need to assign our resource here. So we will set this to commercial goods. Now, to th uh, in thinking about this, so empty is export, fill is import, balanced is to try to get it from the city first and import it if you need to. So what I think we're gonna do is leave it to balance for the time being. And <laughs> apparently it'll just sit there. We'll set it to balanced and see if that works. So the main concern here is how do you get here? And this is where that uh, potential highway could be helpful. So if we were to build a highway, I would come through here and rather than following this alignment, which is really messy, I would likely come down here and then follow straight down. We'll see if we need to do that. For the time being, the simpler solution is likely to make some targeted roadway connections through here and reestablish the grid. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, there's a lot of these pink trains. Let's look at this line, the mulligan line, and call a mulligan on it. <laughs> we've, got, we've got eight, trains with a whole bunch of capacity serving very few people. Let's take this back down to, we'll put it down to 75. These aren't very full and that should help. I'm going to pause this for just a moment because I want to destroy this. We'll get back to that in just a moment. But what we're going to do is use some eminent domain in these buildings and establish a roadway network through here. And actually I'm going to go back. We're going to give that another go. The main reason is I have the jaunt coming. So I don't want that turn to occur underneath where my train connection is going to happen because that will end up creating a situation where it's more difficult to create the pillars. So even though this is ugly, I think it's a better solution to have it on either end of this. So those two connections are going to end up being key. Over here, it's more challenging because these are level. But over here, I think I can go above anyway. So we will reestablish our connection. What we had over here before, we had our high speed rail viaduct. And I think that we have an opportunity to continue this and really improve it. So let's see how far I can stretch this. I'm gonna go 12 and then I'm gonna need to go up higher. So it says I can do that. And you know what? It might be okay. It's, it's uncomfortable but we can deal with uncomfortable. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna deal with that. And here again, uncomfortable. But we can deal with uncomfortable. Okay. So now I can just re-establish this connection here. Let's resume this and see what this does. I'm guessing this is gonna carry a ton of traffic, but we're gonna test that theory out right now. I'm gonna speed this up for just a moment and then we'll take a look. Look at that right off the bat. And it's all types of traffic coming through here. The main concern I have though, is that we have this right here. There is some freight traffic coming. It's coming from this collector over here. It's pretty dispersed. I wanna let this run for a minute to see if this thing actually starts, I don't even need to, 1%. Yeah, we'll let this run for just a moment. And I wanna see if this is gonna fill up with goods. It's gonna be very important that this does. And this is exactly what I was afraid of. So we have this gigantic warehouse and nothing's getting to it. So we're gonna to need to do a couple of things. First of all, let's think about the land use. We have industrial land uses in one location. That is not good. We have here, I guess two, and right here, but really nothing on this side of town. We have no demand for it. We're going to solve that. We're going to force some demand. So what we'll do, I'm gonna create a little industrial district right here. I'm not excited about this. I had other ideas for this area, but I do think that we need industrial on this side of town. So we are going to terraform the heck out of this. And every time I hit the terraforming button now, it's a level terrain or something, I'm a little nervous <laughs> because of what was happening before, but we'll, we'll, we'll live with it. So initially I was thinking that this would be a district where we could have homes for workers for, for the airport. Truthfully, it's it's probably just not as valuable as, 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 a, as another land use. So we will uh, do this instead. And what we're gonna do is build a little industrial area right here, which can serve the downtown area. So rather than importing everything, we're gonna actually start producing some stuff here. But that leads us to our next problem, which is our workforce. It's highly educated. So we are gonna need the industry 4.0 policy if we don't already have that enabled, enabled for the entire city. We have universities everywhere. So obviously every single resident here has their diploma and they're walking in and they won't get a job there because they're overeducated. They're asking for too much money. So let's look at that real quick. Industry 4.0, or new technologies alter the nature of the industrial workforce. All industrial workplaces are for well and highly educated citizens, which should help us get some employees into our commercial buildings. Uh, it'll increase our production output by 50%, reduces the workplaces by 30, which is good because right now we have all of this residential demand because of all of our empty jobs. And as soon as we get residences, they get educated and then they still are calling for that. So this will hopefully balance us out. So now that we have that, let's focus on this industrial area. Now this road is crooked. It's gonna bug me. We're gonna need to do something about that. I This is gonna be pretty basic. It's an industrial area. <laughs> you know, What more is there to say? I want it to be very simple. And you know what, we will just leave it off skew like that. It'll be fine. Here though, I will turn it so that when it comes into the road, yeah, no, maybe I won't. <laughs> I'll just have it go straight in. I was gonna try to get it close to a 90. It's, it's like an 87, it's fine. <laughs> this will be our little industrial park and it's gonna need a lot of, of services, including an interchange. So we are going to build all of that right now. So I just wanna keep the beach looking nice and we're gonna to need to screen all of this heavily because this will be the first thing that people see as they come into Verde Beach, they come down here, they take a look, industry. Perfect, <laughs> beautiful. Just what everyone wants to see. Uh, we're gonna need warehouses and we're gonna need fire protection, but I wanna build this interchange first because nothing is really more important than this. So I'm gonna start this, we'll just add a little connection here with some dirt roads and here we're gonna have to turn the connection right off the bat and I'm just thinking about how we're gonna get this up so this will be the way onto the highway this will be the way off from the airport maybe into a warehouse and then we'll need the exact same thing over here this one's gonna be tough because there's a lot of elevation change here so I'm gonna try to back it off a little bit from there so we don't have a bunch of queuing and here I think I'm gonna notch this up one hit right off the bat. And over here, we're gonna have the exact same curve. And I'm gonna notch it up one bit over here. You might wonder, 
why <laughs> I'm doing this. And the main reason is we're gonna have a whole bunch of traffic. If they don't have this, where do they go? So I guess they drive into the airport to try to get it onto the trains. That's not ideal. They're, they clog up this and they try to put it on the trains there, maybe. But how do they get it to the rest of the community? This is all, that's all about exporting. And we need to keep this in our community. All right, I don't love it, but it's it's gonna have to do. Here, we're gonna be coming from this end. I think that this one will be pretty simple. There we go, and the directionality is actually correct on that one. Here it is as well. We've got two more connections to make, and then we should be home free. There we go. That actually might be the best one. That's pretty good. And then we have one more over here, and this is the, gonna be the most challenging one. And that's because of just how high we're trying to go and how quickly we're trying to get there. So there we go, that is very uncomfortable, but it'll, it'll do the trick. This is going to get immediate use. This has been something that's been missing for a while and now our power is missing, so that's a concern. <laughs> so, well, I think what we're gonna do to try to jump the highway with this is we'll add in a couple of windmills and that should solve that problem for us and otherwise we're dealing with really tall power lines going across here i've already done that and dealt with that i've lived that life we don't need to live that life again all right so now what i want to do is look at this we have this collector here so i want to add turn lanes if at all possible Ooh, ooh, that is really bad that's a little better. So uh, what this will do is it'll give us a left and a right hand turn lane. If someone wanted to go straight, I guess they could. They made a mistake. Here we'll do the exact same thing. Give the ability to go left or right. And then let's manage our traffic over here. There we go. So that's going to be really helpful. Let's look at our routes and see if we're getting any traffic through here. Tons. And going up here. Leaving here. There we go. Interesting. Yeah, so to get over there, that's a that's a that's a trek. But that is gonna be very, very useful. So now we can zone some some just traditional industrial. So I'm gonna add in a couple of these warehouses. So we could certainly go for something huge if we wanted to, but now we're placing that on the beach. Don't want to do that. So let's look at where our beach. Yeah, that's that's on the beach. This is taking up some of our industrial land, but I think I'm okay with it. And then we are gonna need fire protection. So we will ensure we have that. I'm gonna add another roadway connection in here. And we'll add our fire protection back here. And since we're already thinking about all of our death care, let's, <laughs> we'll work one of those in back here as well. And then we will add in right here. Look at that, they all deploy immediately. We'll add in our industrial back here as well. So this, it does jump, but we need water pipes back here underneath the road right where they belong. And then I want to add in a fence here to prevent the zoning along the side of this collector. we will add industrial here and all along here and here as well, add in our fence. There we go. And here we're gonna zone along there. We've gotta deal with a bit of imperfection. I do wanna change the road type that we're using though. We can use some industrial roads. We don't need this to be pretty. So this is not going to develop yet. And the reason for that, we're, we have maximum speed here and it's still not doing a thing. And one of the reasons for that is we have a lot of industrial in another area. We're gonna to need to resolve that by taking some of it out which might sound counterintuitive when we have a goods issue, but we need to spread out our industrial and that's what's gonna solve this. I I've talked about wanting to screen this. I think we'll do that once this develops and it might not even be today that we get to that. So I wanna come over here to this industrial park and we are going to rezone significant portions of it. So let's go ahead and we're gonna redevelop this. There are better and higher uses for this land and now is when we realize those uses. And we're going to transition our uses back here. So basically this road will be the cutoff. 
So we'll continue to have some of this commercial back here, but I think what we're gonna really, we'll take a look at our pollution, which is gonna be really difficult to see right now. Uh, this will clean up. We are going to border some of these uses right here with commercial. And then we're gonna have a new residential district right here. And this will help all these commercial businesses out. We'll call the mulligan on those because we don't want them to have a, a beautiful view of our wastewater processing complex. But this is clearly a need in the community to have all of this, this new residential. So this will be really helpful. And then over here, near our power plants, we can have some more commercial type uses. There we go. So this is kind of ugly. I could certainly improve the aesthetics back here. Probably not my most pressing need. But I do feel significantly less pressure now than I felt at the beginning of this episode. So that's, that's good. <laughs> Maybe you can tell. So the nice thing is for the most part, the roads in this area have already been upgraded. So they're not these industrial roads. We will convert all of these though. And we're gonna to wanna to look at noise at some point. We might need tree-lined streets back here to deal with some of that noise. So now that we've done this, you can start to see we have a low demand for industry or offices, which is much better than we had before. And what this is gonna do is relocate some of this way over here, hopefully. <laughs> we're just gonna to have to keep an eye on that. My, my sincere hope is that we get some industrial development out here. In the meantime, we do have some goods here. We're just not really going anywhere. Let's come back over here. And we have all of these goods that are being produced over here already. What I'm gonna do is place a warehouse complex over here next to this interchange. And I'm hopeful that that is gonna help us resolve our goods issues as well. We should have modified our terrains first. This is one of those buildings that does very, very, very poorly. With this, I don't have the, the kind of money right now to continue to make these kinds of mistakes though. So someone's getting fired. The engineer in this project, not the planner. Obviously the planner wouldn't have done this. We would think ahead. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look all that much better. We're just gonna have to deal with a bit of imperfection and not let perfect be the enemy of good. This is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's, it's fine. It's perfectly acceptable, 100% okay. Let's clean this up and then pull this down, run our water pipes underneath the road here and probably underneath a bridge or in a bridge. But I had someone uh, pop into the comments and say that uh, they helped design these things and that is absolutely where they go sometimes, very expensive. <laughs> so, so we're gonna roll with it. We'll send that through the back, there we go. And then we need power here as well. And just what everyone wants, a high power transmission line running right to their house. <laughs> All right. So here we are going to, again, commercial goods and commercial goods. So I'm hoping to catch some of this traffic before it exports. And, you know, if they want to export it, it's still a good location for that. If they want to store, it's an excellent location for that as well. So you can see we're loading up with workers. Some of this residential that we have over here is gonna help a lot with this. Getting some workers here, because we are in a fairly remote location. Transit could help with this, uh, but we're gonna focus on transit in a coming episode. So I don't wanna get overly into that right now. So now that we've done that, let's see if we're developing over here and we've got our first ugly industrial buildings. But everyone's highly educated and uh, as a result, we have workers immediately filling in the needs here. Looking at this, still not that full, but how are we looking over here? We've got some chirping, but from what I can tell, I think we're looking a little bit better. Now, I don't know what's going on with my emergency shelters. I, I for whatever reason, cannot get this to load up with food to save my life. And I've tried everything. And I mean everything. I even put a warehouse next to this in, in, in trials uh, and, and had it set to zoned agricultural and it didn't grab it and put it in here. So if anyone has any idea why 
I can't get food to show up in this large emergency shelter? Please let me know. It's not just this one. Oh, and make a liar of me. <laughs> this one has food. I don't know why that's improving, but it is. <laughs> so, yeah, how about this one? Over here, there's another one. Okay, so that to me is a transportation problem. So that's discouraging. But it's also instructive. And I think I know what we need to do next. And it's going to be very controversial. We're going to have a significant 1960s style highway expansion project, I think. We're not going to go with a full divided highway, but we are going to run an arterial and bring that into the city. That's the one thing is we don't really have any arterials through our entire city. We have collectors everywhere. The difference in the game is the speed of the roadway. That's, that's a significant concern. That means the range of the vehicles is less. So when we look, we kind of have a donut here and there's a couple things that we could do. We could start running cargo trains on our high speed viaduct. Don't want to do that. I could try to shoehorn up here some sort of a freight terminal. Don't want to do that. Not really suitable. Or I could convert this and bring a highway down here. Don't want to do that either, but it's probably the most viable and logical option. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments how you feel about that idea. Should I create a highway, an arterial coming right through here, right down this road, providing direct access to the downtown core? Or should I try to come up with another solution? I don't think that there is a wrong or right answer for this. It's just a different take. But that said, the road would help with garbage, which we do see is continuing to be a bit of a problem here. I do want to look, we've done a lot today, and I want to make sure that everything that we've done is looking good, but we're going to do that after a brief city tour, and let's just tour the whole town. Okay, and we're, as we come to the end here, we do need to take inventory of what we've done. So let's take a look at our death care. We've got 300, so again, we're popping up, but our capacity is significantly better and we should be more resilient. Our terraforming, let's just make sure we can still do it. Yep, we're good. And then I want to take a look over here. There we are. We've got some new industrial springing up over here. A little bit of demand, lots of residential demand. And we don't have a lot of goods over here, but it seems as though that's going to change very, very shortly. Uh, over here, looking at our other warehouse, very, very little being stored here. And over here, 1%, 1%, not great. So I'm a little disappointed in our good storage. I'm hoping, hoping that that changes over time. Things feel like they're settling down, but we still got more work to do. So in the next one, I think we're gonna, we're gonna tackle this roadway project if you guys think that that is something that we should do. And if you don't, what we're gonna tackle is a transit network redesign uh, of, of, our, of our entire bus system, which I think is gonna be really important. It has been uh, growing incrementally and that's not always the best way to approach that.
So I think we're gonna leave it here. I hope that you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.